everyone and welcome back to another video and if you're new here please subscribe below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i'd be very grateful uh, where possible all products used will be linked in the description below so today i'm going to show you how to do a really really simple daisies 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 which you know you can do if you're professional and it's super super easy if you're not very good at nail art at all all we're going to be using is a couple of dotting tools which you can pick up really easily from um, Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, you know, those kind of places. And you, you can just pick them up for a couple of quid. And then so, um, and I'm also going to be using these gel polishes from Lavender Violets. So I have three of them here. So blue is going to be my base, um, which is Lavender Violets D132. Now I have to write these on the back because unfortunately Lavender Violets don't like put a sticker or something anywhere to tell you what the colour code is. And helpful if they did but i just write it on with a sharpie but i mean you can see it's starting to rub off there now but yeah um and this yellow one for the middle of the daisies is uh d132 and then the white for the petals doesn't have a code it may do i'm not sure if it does but i'll link it down anyway so if you get your nail tip I'm using the blue. I've already put one coat on here to save time. You don't, guys don't want to be watching me doing that. So, um, so, you know, two coats of the colour, your chosen background colour, which I've chosen this blue one because I think it's quite a nice springtime colour, which, you know, we associate daisies with, even though I'm not filming this in spring. Far from it, it's starting to get cold outside. So we'll pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Here's when I have Elia. Um, so we will pop our colours on here on the palette. And again, the palette you can get from Amazon, AliExpress, anywhere like that. They don't need to be from professional nail sites. Okay. So I will take my smallest dotting tool for the middle of my daisy, just popping it in there. And then we're just gonna create some dots randomly. They don't have to be perfect. Because it is art after all and I'm just going to do some more here and you know you don't have to see the whole of the flower on the nail sometimes it's nice to have it sort of off the side I think for me I just this is the way that I do if I'm doing dots on a nail anyway I tend to do it like this so I'll do a line here first which is this one and then I'll do dots in between, so they're spaced out in between these dots. So then that dot will be between these dots, making sure that they're in a line. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I just want to put more dots up here, actually, on there. And maybe one here. So that's quite cute already. So if you wanted to just do like a dotty nail, you could just have a dotty nail with whatever colours you wanted. So I'm just going to flash cure that in the lamp for 10 seconds just to keep those um, yellow bits intact. Sorry, knocking the camera everywhere. I'm just wiping off uh, my dotting tool. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm probably, I think, I'm probably going to use a bigger one. So I use a slightly smaller one for the middle. You can see that. And I'm going to use a slightly bigger one for the white petals, I think. We'll see. So you don't need to wipe this off because obviously you've only flash cured it. So I'm just going to pick up some of my white. Look. And then place it on my daisies. And it's literally just about doing little dots around your yellow dot. And it really is that easy. Sorry, out of shot. And 
know, anybody can do this. You can do this at home. It's how easy it is. Look. That one's bled into that one a little bit there. But it doesn't matter. I don't think I can change it now anyway, but... Yeah, so try not to get them petals to touch because they will bleed into each other a little bit if they do touch. going all of the dots put in your little petals in there you go and you can carry on and put more daisies there if you want but I think that's quite cute like that actually but you could if you wanted I'll carry on and do it once I've flash cured this one if you want just to see and I'll do the whole nail for you. So you could have it like that on all nails, or you could, um, you know, just have this as an accent nail and mix and match the colors that we're using here um, for the rest of the nails. So like these ones here, where they're gonna be off center, doesn't matter, like just, just do the dots. Making sure you can see that, all right. Sometimes it's nice to just have them even off center. my hand in the way. You couldn't see that one then, could you? I've done. I'm just going to flash cure that again for 10 seconds because I don't want to knock it flying. There we go. And then we can do the other ones. So like this one right here in this corner, it's not going to, the petals aren't going to fit on. And that's fine. You just make that little petal. Look, you just like, just like dot it on just that little tiny bit there. Because it doesn't need, you don't need to see the whole of the flower. See? Oops, that dot was a bit too big there, that blob, but never mind. I guess they're not all going to be perfect. this last one here in this corner and again he's slightly off center so you're just going to put a little blob there look see just a little tiny bit on the edge there you go put that into cure see how super easy that was I thought it was anyway. Gosh, I've not got my top coat ready for you. Okay, so um, when that comes out, I am going to top coat. Um, and obviously, because it's got little petals on and they're round dots, it does make the nail slightly bumpy. So when you are putting your top coat on, make sure that you are putting a generous amount of top coat on. Um, for this video, I'm using the Blue Sky top coat. Um, I don't tend to use the expensive professional nail technician top coats when I'm doing these kind of videos because... They're not on a client. And um, also, I think, you know, these kind of um, 
brands like the blue sky and the lavender violets type things you know you guys can use these at home and and they're you know they're affordable for home users so that's why i like to use them as well in these videos because you know my videos are not just for professionals they're for home users too and i want you guys out there to be able to recreate some of these really easy nail art um designs so there is my daisies so we will just top coat that and bring it to life plenty of top coat on that it's cute sometimes when i am um, top coating something like this and i've put a thick layer on i will turn it upside down or if i'm doing it on a client i'll get the client to turn a hand upside down because it just the gravity just helps to stop it flooding from the side walls and to make it um go where it's meant to go now sometimes i'll i'm looking upside down now you can't really see the angle i'm looking at but i'm looking upside down at this nail now and i'm just getting my brush and making sure that it's all nice and neat underneath and there's no bumps in the top coat. You don't have to do that. It's just something I like to do. Sorry, hand in the way. And then when you're happy, pop it in the lamp for the 460. So... There's the daisies. Um, you know, if you guys have got any um, techniques that you'd like me to cover, things that you're struggling with, whether you're a home user or whether you're a professional, it doesn't matter. Let me know and I will do my best to cover them for you in the future. So let's pop this out now. And there's our, our nail. See? Simple design you can do at home. And look how effective that is. It could just be an accent nail. You know, you could do the rest of the nails in this colour. And you could have this on your ring finger or an accent finger or what have you. And there we go. Oops. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.